there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazuridux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalov, and right now, we need to talk about the Quartermaster Rorsch found kidnapped. Quartermaster Vladimir Rorsch has been found by Ungarn's agents in Shenyang, where he was running an agricultural commune called the Tri Artel Commune. This commune has used stolen funds from Ungarn to feed the homeless and destitute. While we can't recover our assets, we've ensured that Vladimir Rorsch will no longer be able to carry on his idealistic work. I would have fled to Spain myself personally, but. Now, it looks like they're having a few issues over there, but right now, we are still finishing up turning, turning on Tibet. So, of course, Tibet has long, uh, long outlived its usefulness. And now is the time to strike. We demand they take a knee and fork over the bounty of the nation. Of course, up next, we're doing the horse, uh, Horseman of the Pack-Ups. I think I read this one in the last video, so if you want to read this one again, please go right ahead. So, bringing upon the end of his degenerate era. Oh, look at that. The Fourth Balkan War. Great. And it's time to go beat up some Tibetans. A uh, national pass, some if you will. Now, I did tab over to see what type of divisions they had. And they apparently have uh, mostly just militia. Which is, of course, very nice for us. Something that we absolutely love to see. So we can beat these guys up. Oh, fighting the mountains really sucks. But you know what? That's okay for now. That is totally okay. So what have you guys here, actually? Improved machine tools. Very good. Let's grab some more extraction, because why not? So After this, Spirit of Genghis Khan. Can we do that one? We might as well. Gain cores in every province of Manchuria. Gain cores in all of Central Asia and every ally. Um, uh, th there will be offered integration to a Khanate. It's not bad. Gain cores in every regional core province of Maklik and the Xiangjiang clique. It removes the Khan's ambitions, though. Is that good to get rid of? Um, Horseman of the Apocalypse. Khan's ambitions. No, I'm not seeing it here. Alright, well. well. Of course, we can't. Uh, I guess we can't do that one just yet. So, Spirit of Genghis would be nice, but conquer Turkestan. Yeah, I'd like to do this as well. To clear one Islamic Federation. Restore the Eastern Borders. I'd love to do that, man. A sovereign power. We can't do ally with the Qing yet. Because it requires a pact with the brother. A sovereign power. If we've chosen the form of the brother of Eurasia, let's broaden the options of our alliance. Otherwise, it'll grant a boost our conquest. We get more non-core manpower. Get more daily compliance. Get more group of population and division, division occur rate. I want that daily compliance because we're going to conquer a lot of people. So, a sovereign power. We cannot rely on foreign powers with their ulterior motives to achieve our ends. Mongolia alone should be the bulwark of tradition. Return to tradition, my friends. Return to tradition. Happy 37, though, everyone. Um, we're going to get motorized unlocked and get it done, but we're not really going to be using it very much. I guess we'll put it like that. Go ahead and head on into here if you possibly can. Lhasa will, of course, be ours. And we're doing relatively okay in most regions. Not all regions, but... Oh! Because apparently Russia's fighting these guys. If you're fighting here, the Russian... It, it might be time to fight these guys now. Maybe, or we will bide our time and wait to strike Russia when they're fighting the Russian Germans still. I think that's probably the best course of action for us currently. It's probably just best to wait first. Oh, and these guys are killing each other too. Great, yeah, we just don't have enough generals yet. Oh, and the, this general was, was the group we did send to North America to help out in the little war that they're having over there. Just a little minor war. Um, let's grab some of that guy. Yeah, we might as well. Why not? And Tibet, of course, is gone, my friends. As it should be. So after this, we get some manpower, of course. More cavalry attack and defense, which is awesome. Yeah. And the fate of China would be good as well. Because we're on the order of Jing. So, annexation Tibet, though. Nationalist coup. Tibet is now under the hooves of the horses, but we shall remember our long friendship and cooperation with the people. The government will be punished for the betrayal, but citizens of Tibetan mountains will probably agree to join an empire under the rule of glorious Genghis Khan II. Tibetans know how to fight in the ice hills, and their soldiers will be beneficial to our mighty armies, but warriors of the Khan want to be rewarded for long and bloody battles. Loot insult the earth. They should be incorporated peacefully. We're going to lose stability anyways. I don't lose manpower. We get more manpower in this anyways. We could use more steel, could we? Yeah, honestly, we could use more steel. We're getting more extraction anyways. 10,000 manpower, 5,000 manpower. Uh, we're going to go to where these guys next, and they got plenty of steel already, so. Incorporate them peacefully for now. That'll be fine. Now, if we. Okay, so we're fighting China. Will that cause Puyi to try to go to war with us? So they got a lot of manpower. They got a lot of divisions, too. Oh, there goes Islamic Republic. I hope Transmured as well. Um, 
Are they allied to anybody, or are they just by themselves? They are allied to the Khanate. Kolchak, you got one heck of a beer. The Siberian War, huh? Far Eastern. Oh! Oh, you're fighting down here too, aren't you? Oh, no, the, the United Cossack Coast. Begin militarization. Well, you already went to war with them, so I don't know if it's a good idea to go to war with them now. Uh, if you're on the secret history of the Mongols published. Mongolian author Tsendin Dam Din Sudan has managed to find and translate a copy of the secret history of the Mongols from his Chinese text into Kal Kalka Mongolian. This is just to enable the story of Temujin. Chinggis Khan to be authoritatively told in the spirit of Ungern. Zenden Di included a forward claiming that the events of the secret history teach a lesson to all Mongols. This lesson teaches such a prophetic life as Temujin's has happened many times after in Russia under Peter the Great. Did a great conquest take place that restored the honor of the Mongols? Nice. Very nice. And of course we're continuing our mere forms which you don't really need because apparently according to your comments um, this is just because of this is for army reforms for China so we don't really need to do this. Do we actually get that spirit? We get the Horseman of the Apocalypse, which is really nice. And there goes the Dominican Republic, so we can kind of ignore it. That's kind of a bug for now, so it is fine. It's what, it is what it is, but, you know, whatever. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. I would love to go to war with the Feng Shin government, but... They're probably guaranteed by the Empire of Japan, right? Yeah, I don't want to fight the Japanese yet. So after a sovereign power, the fate of China... Once the security will decide on what to do with the Chinese throne, if the Shang-Chi still exists as independent, you would declare them first, though they do not, are not a faction or a subject the verse is true. Shang-Chi. I would like to go to where the Shang-Chi first. Shang-Chi clique would be awesome to take. And getting 100% uh, compliance on these guys really quickly would be awesome. Okay, so I'll be honest here. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with motorized or cavalry or, you know, use tanks and stuff. And the overwhelming response to the time this recording at 11, 12 at night has just go straight cavalry. Go completely straight cavalry. No ifs, ands, or buts. So we're going to try the best we can here. Um, obviously, we'll get some more support companies eventually. But, like, we'll try our best going 40 combat with cavalry if we can and not die trying too hard. We're going to lose a lot of guns. We lost a lot of guns. Holy crap. I'm not going to take anything off here because we can still use them, so... Um, yeah. Can it... Oh, hello. Ca Canada. Did it say? On the side of the PSA. Oh, that sucks. Of course. Why not? They always do that, right? <laughs> and the Ottomans taking out those guys. Oh, well, good luck, guys. Just keep making, getting more stuff. Well, that sucks for y'all. I hope the Transmere people take them out eventually. Or give them a, a big old struggle. Wow, that sucks. Well, Gary's doing not too... Romania is really sucking there. Nice. The Saudi Omani War, very cool. A sovereign power invaded China. Now that Rakane stands at the gates of China proper, let us, let us like the hordes of old, ride forth and from the steppe and seize Beijing. Oh, yes, please. I'll love it, man. I'll love it. Make us nice and strong. Oh, this is so good. non manpower, recruitable population. There's just, you get so much population, which I get. Like, we don't have a massive population. Our total population is like 23 million right now. So... We're going to take as much as we possibly can, and getting more non-core compliance and stuff like that would be really great. Um, honestly, I don't want to deal with all this stuff yet. I would like to get some more stuff here. Our consumer goods will be increased by 5% while this focus is active. Honestly, can we use a steel right now? Yeah, steel, tungsten, aluminum. Establish the chem, the ability there, mines. Now, we can get other research slots in other parts of the focus tree, but having four is already pretty darn decent right now. So we can kind of wait. Four is, like, standard, so. We did not seize the lands of Tuva because they look pretty. We shall expand our minds there so that the thirst of our mighty war machine is sated, at least until we find new lands to conquer. And does Shang-Chi offer any resources? Yes, they offer four more steel and four more tungsten, which is going to be greatly beneficial to us. Greatly, 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 greatly. All right, so at this point, stop training because we need to save every literal gun that we can have right now. And if we need to, cut down on these guys. Go down to two for now. Save a little bit on here. We have a little bit more artillery. We could be using... Engineers would be nice, but we don't have enough guns. Let's go. Get the engineers. Dig in, horse boys. Dig in. You should be able to win this pretty darn easily. Ooh. Bad supply here, huh? That is what we call El Succo. Hopefully we go to war soon so we can get rid of that, but still. Honduras, very cool, very, very cool. We've got some other comments to go through as well once we're done clicking through all these regions. 
Yeah, Russia, we'll take them out later on. Probably. Let's see. Other comments. Someone says the army reforms are for China. Someone says I should invade Russia, which we absolutely will. Excavation 1 is done, which is nice. Get some synthetic stuff. So that should help us out slightly. Yep, that helped us out slightly. Not bad. Red Flood, if you like about Red Flood, it's an interesting modern book. Please go right ahead. Japan announces their ambitions. Well, it's going to go on to get rid of the Japanese then, eventually. Close out of this one, too, which is fine with us. We will raise the conscription level eventually, too. So it is what it is. Oh, look at that. Mongolian ascendancy. Oh, so good. Uh, where do we not have cores on? Is it Tibet? We still don't have cores? That sucks. Damocles Project. Point two jumps up to what? Point four. Oh, it's so nice. What? You're telling me you don't have, like, the local autonomy thing? Nice. Fate of China. Probably get quite a bit more army XP here. We'll see what happens, though. I want you to cut off that militia division. It's not worth very much at all, but still. Oh! Yep, yeah, there goes parts more America. Fortress Buster ain't too shabby. Losses? Zero versus zero, which is not bad to see, but not great. Yanan? Taiyun? They do have some divisions. Wow! Holy crap! 18,000 already? That's not bad. Oh, we need better guns. We've been using garbage here. It's alright, though. No wonder with 18,000 we do destroy that militia division, which is awesome. Don't worry about it. Just go around them. Go around them. You'll be fine. Oh, they actually have people in the capital. But they're still militia, so. Go, 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 boys. Go, go, go. I'm actually glad you're keeping these guys here. And we've encircled another division. And before they die, they actually are just infantry. Interesting. Ah, 37,000 more Chinese soldiers have died. Keep all these guys in place. Let these guys move out, actually. <clears throat> Keep them in place. We might not be winning completely, but that does give us a lot more army XP and hopefully gives our guys quite a bit more experience for themselves. It's totally alright. As long as we can go to Taijun, that's all I literally care about right now. Or Taiyuan. Oh, come on, man. Hey, we're on over here too. That's not too bad. Oh, with what? This one? Consumer goods increases for now. Um, let's keep going down this way. Review war game results. Reviewing the war games or results of past, of past war games and simulations together with the latest in military developments we will serve to give us a clear picture of the development of modern warfare. Pretty much. 12,000 still is not too bad for right now. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Do they volunteer from anybody? What's the gun situation like? They're out of manpower, actually. So, obviously, we're not really winning here, so go hold first. Futile attacks. Assault, caliber, uh, attrition, or division rate of 2 v 1. Okay, why are you suffering from attrition here? This literally makes no sense. Bad supply. I don't believe you. I literally don't believe you. So, you know, pull out. Let him come back out. Seriously, just let him come back out. Happy 38, everybody. Let's get some better guns. Leave. I said leave. I, I hate it when you you know you click on orders and they, they don't leave. Get out. We're gonna have to re encircle them. That's all we're gonna have to do. Get out! Get out! My God! Just get out! All right. Do that one too. Increasing military spending would be good as well. It really would be. I mean, I don't mind if they're attacking us, but again. Supply-wise, it's not great. Get out. We just don't have the supplies for this crap. We will need to get logistic companies, but that's fine. Get out. Oh my god. You know what? Get rid of those guys. That's sucking up too much supply from us. Horses only, right? Horses only. What the hell are you doing? Just go over this way. Move! Get out! I swear to God, sometimes the AI is just so incredibly stupid, it's infuriating. Get out!
Oh my god, just leave. How are you supposed to win against these guys if they're just going to just have such terrible supply issues here? It literally makes no sense. And I'm not going to just kill off my own divisions for no reason. Um, I need to get some more war propaganda. We got more than enough political power for this. Review war game results, which is get out. My god, how many times do I need to say that? Cavalry expert, that's good. They are not moving. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. And don't kill me right now, but like, Jesus Christ, how stupid are they? Young officer schools, though. We should try to get the best efforts, officers we can for military, and a great way to do this is to start training them from a young age. The opening of multiple young officer schools in Mongolia should help foster officer classes. How many god dang times do I need to say, get the heck out of here? This whole attrition thing is just BS, man. It's such BS. Our finest hour, everyone, but that was good head. Why are you attacking? I don't want you to attack. I really don't. I really do not. This is one of the most idiotic things I've seen. Alright, I guess we have to do infrastructure then. I'll just start deleting divisions. This is not fun. Can we just go in? Just seriously, just cut them off. This whole attrition thing is just such BS. Go in. Just if you want to die, then kill yourselves off. Review war game results. The young officer schools would be good. Logistics. Immediately logistics. Go in. For the love of God, go in, go in, go in. Cut these pieces of garbage off. We still got more than enough manpower, though, which is nice. But still. Go in here. Keep these guys in there. Go in, go in, go in. For the love of God, go in. Yes! Yes, we got them surrounded. Completely surrounded. Do not give up the attack right now. Oh, good. The Philippines and Japan are killing themselves. That's good to see. How can you not win here? I'm sorry, but like, if you completely encircle like this, there should literally be no way for you to get out of here. Oh, I got... I'm glad we got there. Holy crap, that's not good. Come on. Get your butts in there. Thank God. Alright, so now... We can be more in the front. 41,000 versus 83. This is so stupid. <sighs> we really shouldn't be forced to do it like this. Alaska Defense. They really should have no equipment either, right? But they do somehow. Mobile infantry. And now we're going to back up again. Whee! Get out. After young officer schools, then we're going to grab the big military gamble to get another research slot. We're now comfortable in investing greatly in our chosen military doctrine, knowing with confidence that is course that will serve us best in destroying the enemies of Mongolia. Of course, then again, the guns are looking super bad. Super bad. Am I going to close the economy? No, okay. Well, we're forced not to. That sucks. That's stupid. Motorized. We'll grab it before we grab tanks. Let them just try to kill us off here first. And we'll go back in. Because we, we just we just can't kill them. You know, we just can't kill them. So we have, we have to stupidly do it like this. Let them come in, take a bunch of territory, and then try to kill them off. That way. So stupid. Let them come swarming in, man. Swarming in. I don't know how they're able to get this much more manpower and, like, equipment. But they have that, they have, how many factories they got? Three. Am I going to have supply issues again? Game, seriously. Am I, are we going to have supply issues? Because I'm not going to tolerate supply issues. Give us you they're international. That's nice for them. After this, we're going to focus a lot more heavily on research slots. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. The fall of Nolans. That ain't good for Mr. Huey Long. Mr. Long Dong. Oh. There goes Romania. Goodbye. Yanan? Yeah, don't worry about that. Go this way. Hmm. 
Mm. Isn't this just fun? Just just sitting here grinding against other people? The first episode is a lot more fun than this. I'll be honest. It's a lot more fun. Just sitting here, just grinding. You know. Casually just fighting another land war in Asia. That's all. I don't want to do force attack because that would be really foolish of us. What are you supposed to do with all this political power too? Go here. And circle and destroy. We're still winning against the militia, which is pretty good, but... So stupid. I mean... Yeah, I don't know if I like the combat in Hoi 4, man. Good, I'm glad they're attacking us. I want you to immediately treat it this way first. Just in case we get in circle here. Hey, nice. Good job, guys. Can we please just get the capital? For the love of God, please. Why don't you go that way? Really make them work for it. I hope they were learning a lot here, too. Like, you would level skill level 8 general. That's still not enough, apparently. As soon as they start moving in, we're starting to attack again. Uh, 38 still. Grab some of that. Nice. You're not moving. You will not move. I swear to God. You will not move. Hello. We're going to win here, and then we're going to win here, and then we're going to win here. Nice. Get over that river. All the way. All the way. I will force the attack if we have to. I don't care how many casualties we'll have to take. I'm glad we didn't go to war with Russia yet. This has been really bad. You're going to win the battle. I swear to God, you're going to win one of these battles. Because we're losing on every battle except for this one over here. Losses, 62,000. Why does it just have to end up being a grind fest? I don't want to play grind fest anymore. I really don't. They're not fun. These are just not fun grind fests. Look how weaker divisions are. I'm about ready to just delete some of these divisions, man. I We got encircled because of this. Screw this. Man, this is BS. I'm about ready to just throw in the towel with this one. They're going to encircle us because of supply issues that they don't suffer from. Are you kidding me? Force the attack. You're both forcing the attack. You're going all the way in. We're going to kill off all our divisions if we have to. No mercy with this. Doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. This is such a stupid thing to happen. Military gamble's good, though. Um, let's go with Improved Urgro Roads. This is this one. Develop Western Mongolia. Western Mongolia has seen a lot of banditry in recent years due to the detriment of the region as a whole. We need help bring industry and trade into the region if we hope that our people will be able to live prosperous lives. Do the devs find this fun? I'll be honest. Do the devs really find this fun? It's just so grindy. Like, how, how are they getting enough guns to supply their armies? How? How? And we got the manpower for it. We're going to lose that division, which sucks, but still. We might as well just do that. I'm not going to stop the attacks, though. Like, this is... This is incredibly stupid. Supply should not be this much of an issue. Second Arab Revolt. Alright. You done? You ain't done. There are people still alive over there. Man, even with all this extra attack, it's, it's it's nothing. It's literally just nothing. All right, if the, if the devs want it like this, I will just literally start deleting my divisions. Like this is this is not fun. Is anyone supposed to have fun doing this? Like this? Keep these guys in place. Are you kidding me? How did they get over here before we were able to get over here? Go in. Alright, they, they say we have supply issues? Well, according to the devs, we gotta delete our army then. Thanks, devs. Thanks. Thanks so much. 
We have green supply and we're still suffering from supply issues. How? Thanks, devs. Thanks. Sorry, I'm being, I'm being very happy with this, but like, Jesus Christ. This is stupid. And then I'm going to fight for their own territory back. Why are we suffering attrition with green supply? They're not even attacking us. I mean... Are we supposed to do anything here? Um, what's the next best thing we could do? Mobile infantry is not bad yet. Thank God we'll get some logistics. After this, uh, that's not bad. Artillery. Let's go with the next one. We need it immediately on these guys. And this is why we need motorized. Why don't they attack? I mean, seriously. What's the point of having just a stalemate on the entire front? Attack or die. Win or die. I mean, that's it. I just don't want to waste time here on screen. Just, like, waiting for them to eventually maybe win or lose. I don't understand how they have this many guns. In what world does this make any sense? It doesn't. This is so sad. Look at this. Why are we suffering from supply issues? I literally deleted my divisions because that's what the devs intended. That's literally what the devs intended. Uh, which one was the next one we're going to do? Probably more industry. Uh, infrastructure's not bad. Civilian factories are pretty good. That's a lot of infrastructure, actually. That's quite a bit. Improve the roads? Eh, I don't really want to do that one. Increase military spending. In this great times of strife, Mongolia needs to defend herself. We must therefore ensure that we increase funding for the armed forces to the point where our nation can defend herself well. Better to expend capital on defense than to be left floundering when war comes. Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? They're not attacking us. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, delete that. You two? Come over here. I'm going to begin doing what I normally do. I'm going to bait them into attacking us. Until it's the line is so weak that they will be forced to attack us. And if not, then I'm not sure what else to say. Hmm. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. I'm sorry, but this is just not fun. Uh, go th uh, get more construction. What are we building up? Roads? This is so dumb. Well, that was a waste of time. The devs wanted us to delete our division so we have better supply. So, you know what? We're retreating again. I'm sorry it has to be like this, guys. I I'm really sorry. But it's just... Why? Why now? Now they're gonna move in? Are you kidding me? Who the hell designed this? Oh, now you're moving out. Jesus Christ. Let him go through there. Let him, let him just go through. This is literally just going to be a stalemate for like half an hour, so... I think I've just got to end the episode here, because there's nothing... There's literally nothing we can do. This is so bad. It's so grindy. This is the exact thing I hate Hearts of Iron 4 for. But, let's go through a few comments before I end the episode and decide to just punch a hole in the wall. Uh, see, someone says Cavalry Bust. We should get all the other territory like we had in the past, such as Constantinople. Take all the lands from the OG uh, Mongolian Empire. Go with tanks eventually. And, of course, someone does say motorized would be easier. I'm not so sure. I mean, with the way the devs intended this to be, like, this is pretty bad. Maybe the motorized would be okay, but we'd probably have some more supply issues if we actually did that. But, hey, regardless, uh, you know, let's read one more focus before we leave. One more focus, because this is going to take a while for me to do. Just just sitting here, off screen. New arms training. Uh, conscript the tribesmen. No, not yet. We don't need that one yet. I'd like to get more factories. So, improve ro roads. 
let's go with Roads Across the West. It is essential that we connect our conquests together by way of properly maintained roads. It's a modern thing to do. Paul West developed the Xinjiang region. After the recent conquest of Xinjiang, many factories and necessary infrastructure within the region have been destroyed by beyond repair. It is our duty as a benevolent rulers to help them get back on their feet and roads across the east. While their lands may be steppe, our newly conquered territories to the south also have been aided irritation of being barren rock and desert. We must improve local infrastructure to support our new conquest and found the Zhibai, Zhibai Industrial Base. Our new southern territories must be made to support our industrial efforts by intervening directly <clears throat> in policy in the region we can get new I don't care about this stuff. Goods, factories, up and running. But if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your opinion on whether this is a good thing that should happen where it just ends up being super, super grindy. Let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.